Welcome to the research project formerly known as the fifth grade history project. Now first off, that title, the research project formerly known as the fifth grade research, uh, history fair project is too huge. So I need a snazzy dazzy name. If you come up with one, come let me know. Um, you may or may not have one. I'll take a couple of ideas right now, Ro. Okay. So it has to be snazzy. I prefer one. Like a catch. Yeah, like a catch. Like, like um, magazine <laughs> madness. That's, what That's I said. one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yes, friend. Um, making magazines. Making magazines. Okay, two good ideas. The best two ideas I've gotten so far today. The other ones were quite up there. Not yep. too bright. Mad magazines. Mad magazines. Yeah, you know what? There's a magazine actually called Mad That's Magazine, and, and that one's kind of, yeah, not quite appropriate for school. Um, we'll come up, you can write down your ideas later. Right now I want to get on with it. You're going to get this packet. It is a 19-page packet. Ooh, that got hurt. So I am not going to give you this packet right this second while I'm talking, because I don't want you doing it while I'm, while filming, I'm explaining it. Filming. So you will get it. You also will get it. You know how sometimes when you've done research projects, you've gotten folders to keep all your information in, and sometimes the folders spill out, and you lose your notes and all of that? You're going to get a super large... So the notes can get... Zipped. Zipped in. So when we get started, you're going to put your, you're going to put your name on here. With a Sharpie marker, you're going to put your pack in there, and these need to come with you every day. Yes, sir. Uh... Okay, what did I what did I say about ideas for the project? Did I want them now or to write them down later and give them to me? Write them later. Yep, because we're doing this. So why are we doing this project? We are doing it because learning appropriate research methods and formats of organizing and presenting your information is crucial to you becoming lifelong learners. I want you to always be learning your whole life long. Be curious, ask questions, learn. And this will do that. You, pro This project will help you practice skills you've already learned in kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. It will help you learn new skills that we'll be working on together. And it will help you become an expert in a topic that you choose. And this is really important. You get to choose the topic. So one of you might choose horses. Somebody else might choose uh, Jamestown. Somebody else Jackie might Robinson. choose <coughs> Mount Rainier. Mount ants. Rainier. Somebody, somebody else. Yes. Um, Magic the Gathering. What kind of ants were those? Harvester ants. Harvester ants. Magic the it is your ants. Magic the Gathering. You will choose the topic. Olympic sports. Um, sports in general. Any sports in general. Any of those Fish. things. So what you will be doing is making a short magazine, four to eight pages. So it'll be kind of like a Scholastic News or a National Geographic Kids News. Yes, sir. Um, so we're supposed to pick an overall theme for the entire magazine. Exactly. Can we, can we like do an overall magazine and then do a, a few other articles that um, don't go with the theme but are like, like something else? No, the, this is going to be different than the Scholastic News. It, this magazine will be themed. So if you choose sports as your overall theme, all your articles need to be about sports. Does it have to be pretty general? That's your decision, and part of your process will be deciding what's the best way to do this. Like there's sports, and then there's um, Olympic sports. Yep. And then there's summer sports. And yep. Since I'm thinking about doing good, do you think I'll oh, get excuse all... me. Yes. Is Haley with you now? Yes. Should I send her down to you? Yeah, she is leaving for an appointment, but she needs to gather her things so much that she's leaving. Okay. Hayley, uh, I'm going to give you this, and you need to put, your, put this in here, and you need to have your mom or dad or somebody at home sign right here, and bring it back tomorrow, and I will give you the video. I will email the video to the grown-ups at your house. Hey, don't uh, Okay. Then I'll give you a chance to watch it. Okay, cool. Interrupt this is so, why I'm recording it. Yes, it's exactly. Sorry for the so interruption. Tina, you had a question. Um, since I'm thinking about doing like giving, you think so? Like, do I sign an article? I can do like have Dr. Seuss became. Yes, that's perfect. <coughs> your feature article might have that. We will have a magazine launch party at the end. 
Vintage will be like the History Fair. People will come and see it. Your magazine needs to have at least one feature nonfiction article. What's the feature article look like? How can you find it in the Scholastic News? On the cover it says what page it is. On the cover it says what page? It's also generally the... Cover picture. The cover picture related to the cover. It's also generally the... Everybody? Theme. First one. The main one, the first one, or the... Main. Big one. Theme. Longest one. Yep. It has to be nonfiction. At least one opinion article. How does Scholastic News do their opinions? They do a yes and no. They do a yes and no. We'll talk about <coughs> different ways to do an opinion article, and you'll get to choose. You have a question? Um, do you think for an opinion article for Olympic sports, you could have an opinion of like adding a sport? Yeah, that's very much a good opinion. Yes, sir. Um, can um, but and, like if you pick something <coughs> that like on the internet. Could you like um, go on to something that's like not on the internet? It's like on the launch pad. I'm not sure. No, because it doesn't fit with your theme. You have to have it fit all with a the theme. <coughs> so we will also do a learning activity. Now the back is classic news. You know they have those questions or charts. Or Boring. Whatever. Which are what, my Boring. friend? Boring. Yeah. So I expect you to be creative and create a game or an activity, or you can just do questions and answers like you, like at the back of Scholastic Music. That's, that's the best way you learn. Yes, ma'am. Could I do like, like a question, the one side and the answer, and I like draw a line? Yeah, that would be perfect. Yes. Can you do one that like, where it's upside? Like an, a game upside? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can have the directions in the magazine and then have the board game here, like if it was a memory game or a board game that you invented or a beanbag toss if you were doing sports. Yeah. Um, could you, um, for the back, could you, like, um, Okay. Yes, sir. Me? Yes. So I've got a question about, like, on the launch party, will there be, like, different stations where you're... It'll be very similar to what you remember visiting the History, History Fair. Fair project. So could I, like, bring in some, like, I might do snowboarding, and if I do, could I bring in like a video of me snowboarding? I saw you with a video. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I did. That. But the launch party is far off, so we'll work on a couple of months. Face yes. covered up. May eighth is when I'm planning, barring oh. unforeseen circumstances. Okay. May eighth. That's on my birthday. Great. It'll Can be your May May launch party and hit your birthday. It's okay. okay. I have one. Yeah. Cool. Kind of, well, I have a question that's kind of like quizzes. Mm -hmm. Could you do like <laughs> something like, um, like interview people with like what Joe's doing with a camera and like hey, do I it like what they say, fun. like Possibly. ask them, should a hockey puck be allowed? Yeah, for your opinion piece, we'll talk about Some those different that. specifics. Let me go over <laughs> all the big things right now. You will have a list of resources used, your bibliography, your citations. You need to have at least five resources. Five, you're in fifth grade, five resources. We'll talk about that more later and how Three I want six. them done. What's a nonfiction text feature? I happen to know that each and every one of you have been studying these since at least first grade. They tend to be in your science book, your math book, your social studies book, uh, any nonfiction book, any most nonfiction magazines. Um, I know the answer, but are you allowed to like put like a back one behind you? And yes, like, but yeah. back on the nonfiction text yeah. feature. So what's the non? Give me an example of a nonfiction text um, feature. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. That's a book. That's oh. fiction. Please. Got an example of a nonfiction text feature? Um, I actually have. Nope. I want a nonfiction oh, text feature. What? Shackleton. That's a topic. Um, a paragraph. Nope. That's in all writing. Prove that it's real. That's it. Well, how would you prove that it was real? That would be the bibliography. Okay. Yes, my friend. Uh, a website. A website would be the bibliography. What about? Well, I'm talking about like a website, a text article, like on a website. website. Okay. Yes. I'm looking for a text feature. Text feature is text attribute, text characteristic. Exactly. It's something. Ten minutes. 
that you find at the beginning of nonfiction books, or the end of nonfiction oh. books, or the middle, or on the side? <coughs> Glossary or index are examples of nonfiction text features. I, we will do a lesson where you will learn at least 20 of them, and I can almost guarantee that you know at least 20 already, but you'll need to do at least 10 of them in your magazine. We will also, you will also get to choose two of these. You don't have to do them all. You get to do two of these. I need you to wait on your question. Two of these. One of them could be an article that uses data. A graph, a table, a chart, an experiment data, a timeline, a survey. One could be a poem that you write, an original poem that you write, and that could be fiction or nonfiction. It could be an article focusing on a person involved with your topic. So if you were doing baseball, you could do an article on... Jackie Robinson. If you were doing... Um, Swimming, you could do an article on... Michael Phelps. If you were doing an article basketball. on basketball, you could do one on... Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, or what about Cindy Blodgett? You main big Larry star. Bird. Mary, yep, Larry Bird. Okay. You could also do an article featuring music that's connected with your target. So for baseball, <laughs> what do they sing during the seventh inning stretch in many baseball games? Not what they play, what they sing. Take me up to the ball game. Take me up to the crowd. Buy me some things and cracker jacks. I don't care if I never get back. Cause it's root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. Cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out. out in the oh, old game. game. So your article, if it was on baseball, might be, how did that song come to be? Why is it a tradition to sing that at the seventh inning stretch? You could um, do an article about visual art, a famous baseball painting, if you were doing Mom baseball. Lisa. Uh, does the Mona Lisa have anything to do with baseball? No, it was about a different topic. Like, if you were doing it on famous artists, you could do that. <coughs> if you're doing on famous paintings, you could do that. An article relating to physical activity. So, if you were doing baseball, what does a baseball need, player need to do to stay in training? Do you have a question? Yeah. Um, I was wondering if you could do, like, a mini book review. Yes. That would be one of them when it goes down to an article relating writing or reading to your topic. So, you could do a mini book review. Exactly. Um, science or math or theater articles you can do. World culture. Why did the Japanese um, culture like American baseball so much? Original artwork. You could draw something that has to do with your art, with your topic, and upload it into your magazine. Um, a fictional article. You could write a short story, a short short story about it. You could do an interview <coughs> connected with somebody with your topic. So if you're doing baseball, you could interview the Oriental High School baseball coach. Or you could interview could? the humane high a baseball coach, yep. Yes. Oh, dad, just swimming. ask your dad. Yes, about baseball. <laughs> and then the last one says, this is the most important one, an article connected to your topic that's not listed here and is approved by Mrs. W. So if you have an idea that's not here, Jeez, Mrs. W. you have to choose at least two. How many, excuse me ladies, how many does that mean you need to do? Two. Can you do more? Yes. Can you do less? No. Okay. Is there like a maximum you can do? Um, <laughs> kind of, sort of. I, I don't want it to be too much more than eight pages. It would have to be extraordinary to allow me to do have you do more than eight pages. Do you have a question? Uh, it's about the activity. Okay. Um, I was wondering, like, um, it's not exactly an activity that you could do, but it's kind of like a how-to. So, like, if you were doing one on... Um, Baseball, you could like write something. You could like write something about a about a step by step to the basics of baseball. <laughs> but it would that would that would be one of your articles that would not be an activity. It has to be something for people to do who come to the launch party about your magazine, or that they can do after reading your magazine. Yes, sir, swimmer. Could I interview my friend? <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Finally, okay. So interview. So. You mean that you would pay for me to go and see to go as an interview? No, I would not. It would have to be somebody that we can access here. 
Yeah, yes, but ma'am. you can pay for it. No, no. If we're doing, like, say, a topic on weather, like, and the history of weather, could we do, like, a how to want to make a weather predictor thingy? Yeah, that would be a great learning A weather activity. stick. Yes, yeah, that would be stick. awesome. Okay, did I see a hand over here somewhere? I forgot. You forgot. Okay, if you remember. Okay, so when? There is a timeline in this packet. All the way from now until May 8th. Oh. But some of these dates might change. <laughs> They're already predicting another snowstorm for Thursday. Woo, 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 woo. No. Yes! So you need to bring these every day so that we can change the dates if we have to. Um, I'm going <coughs> to... No. Stop. So these need to come every day in case we change it. If you, my poor friend, get pale and sickly and have to stay home for a week, I might change her dates and not yours, because you were here every day. If your father gets a flat tire and you have something due the next day and your mother has to trudge out with carrying the extra tire on her back to walk to where he is to fix it and you don't get to do this because you have to go help, that would be extenuating circumstances and you get an extra day or two. What about a baseball game? Baseball game doesn't count. So like there, there is a timeline, game. but we are going. But you are responsible for finishing all the work. So even if you're out sick for a week, we need to get it caught up. Um, oh, you could do it. There's in also we will work together on this project. Some of this work will be done at school. Some will be done at home. But this needs to come back and forth every day, every every day. Now two things are going to happen next. Um, the first is I'm not going to give the next set of directions because we're going to go to the play. So I will do that when we come back. Push stop. Um, Just push the red stop. button.